Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about Burp Suite Scanner. So Burp Suite Scanner tab is used in order to do automatic scanning of various web applications. So but the thing to be noticed is that this scanner tab will only work if you are using Burp Suite Professional. Like if you are using Burp Suite Free Edition, then this tab will not work at all. So that's why I recommend you that if you are a security professional, then please buy a Burp Suite Professional one because this tab scanner is very, very useful. So with the help of scanner tab, we can actually find out various security issues. So this scanner tab will tell us the attack vectors and will, t will even tell us that how we can actually patch that issues. Now let me show you that how we can use scanner tab because I have Burp Suite Professional. So let's see how this tab works in our system. Now let's see how we can use Burp Suite Scanner tab in order to do automatic web application security scanning. So you can see over here that right now I'm using Burp Suite Professional. So the thing to be noticed is that this scanner tab will only work if you are using Burp Suite Professional. If you are using Burp Suite Free Edition, then this tab will not work at all. So you can see over here that our OS broken web application is also running. So now let me open my Firefox and now let's configure the proxy settings. And now let's just open that IP address and it was 157. And you can see over here that Bob Suite starts blinking. Now let's just open Mutily Day. And you can see over here that we got our HTTP request and let me just forward this request and you can see over here that the target tab start blinking and now let me just take you to the scanner tab so you can see over here in scanner tab that whenever we open any link or whenever we open any URL that scanner tab will pick that URL and will start doing security scanning and you can see over here that here are some issues which this scanner tab have found in that particular application that is our mutily day so the first issue you can see over here the issue type is frameable response and that is possibly a click checking attack so second thing is that this scanner or this burp suite have actually found a cookie and which was of without http only flag set and you can see over here html does not specify character set and there some are more issues now you might be thinking that this is a vulnerable web application that we are using mutily day and why this tool that is burp suite scanner have found only two three issues so the reason behind that is this scanner is actually a manual scanner or let's say or simply put that if we open any particular URL then only this scanner will scan that URL. Let's say let's just open cross site scripting and let me just open this one DNS lookup. Let's go back to the bub suite. Let me just forward this request. Let's just go back to the scanner and you can see over here that it has found one more potential issue that is cross domain referrer leakage. So all these kinds of issue it will start finding when we crawl all the URLs. So to make it simple what we can do we can actually make our Bob suite to spider on that application and whenever Bob suite will spider that application or will crawl all the URLs then all the URLs will be passed to this scanner tab and we will get all our vulnerabilities. Now let's see how we can do that. So in the target tab you can see over here our application burp suite. So now let me just right click on it and click on spider this branch. So and let me just put it in our scope and you can see over here that it has started crawling all the links of that mutual application but what is this submit form so what happened is like while crawling a particular web application if burp suite will find a particular web form then it asks us for entering a detail of that form so you can see over here that the burp suite have found some forms so that's why it's just prompting us to enter a name and a password so let's just simply ignore this form and you can see over here that eventually our sitemap is growing because burp suite is continuously just crawling all the urls and links let me just ignore the forms and let's just go back to the scanner and you can see over here even it's just scanning all the urls and we just have to wait for a time being and meanwhile what what else we can do let's say let's just go to the injection tab and that's actually sql injection 
and let me just select this one add to your blog go to proxy let me forward that request and let's just go to the target let's just go to the scanner again and still it's finding and it will take some time so this is how we can actually use scanner tab by going to all the URLs and even we can just start our spider so that our scanner tab can read all the URLs and we will find out various vulnerabilities so what else we can do if you go to the scanner tab there are small small sub tabs let's see how that sub tab looks like so the first one is scan queue so you can see over here there is nothing so one more thing let me show you just right click over here and click on actively scan this branch this will actively scan this branch so click on next so these are all the URLs and the links which is being collected by our Bob Suite Spider click on OK and you can see over here a list of all the issues which this scanner tab is actually finding out you can see over here all the list of issues and all the links so this is the beauty of Burp Suite Professional that we can actually do automatic web application security scanning and so we were talking about sub tabs inside the scanner tab so the one tab is scan queue and you can see over here the scan queue then the next one is live scanning so you can see over here live active scanning so by default it's a don't scan but if you are if you have added your target in your scope then you can just actually select this one use suit scope otherwise this is a good option scan everything so you can see over here issue definition just for example uh, let's say you got this issue that is private IP address is disclosed but you don't know that what kind of issue it is or what it means so what else you can do you can just go to the scanner tab and you can just read this issues definition means what kind of issue they are remediation how we can just fix it and all this kind of stuff so one more sub tab is options so here you can actually change the advanced setting of our web application security scanner tab inside the pop suite so this is how simple it is to start automatic web application security scanning by using Bob suite professional so in this video we saw that what is Bob suite scanner tab and how we can do automatic web application security scanning so thanks for watching this video